따라. Thank you. The Tara is considered as a kind of the universal mother. She is very swift. She is there to take care of all the problems, all the fears. Okay? It's a feminine energy. And one can really feel the difference between the male energy and the female energy. Mother's energy and the father's energy. Just putting that perspective. And uh, I really would like to recommend, if you want to really get more understanding of this, a lot of books have been written, but one of the books which I really like and I find it very good is by Bokar Rimoche, and the title is called Tara, the Feminine Divine. And he has been practicing, not in this life, but even his previous reincarnate life also. And he has a beautiful monastery. I have not visited that, but a lot of people have visited that. That is near Siligudi in West Bengal. Okay? So I think if you are going in that direction, please do visit. He has tankhas of his previous reincarnate, and there's a lot of books written by him on Tara, explanation of the 21 Taras, which normally is a very philosophical, but he puts it in a very simple way. Okay. So just to give you the background, what does Tara do? The Tara saves us from the fears or the danger of elephants, lions, poisonous snakes, thieves, imprisonment, water, demons. These are the physical aspects. But what he is really putting is these are all equivalent to blindness, which means the ignorance, anger, jealousy, erroneous philosophies, greed, desire, and attachment, and doubts. So the aspect of Tara is that he, she is very set. The posture in which she is sitting, right leg is stretched, and the left is slightly bent, as if one is going to jump in. So that is what the Tara is really called. And uh, in this book, there are a lot of stories of the people, but I really would like to read two, which really makes a very good inspiration for us. And they are written, they are shared by great lamas. How many of you have heard the name of Kaluri Moshe, the great lama? He has written that when Kaluri Moshe was at Palpung Monastery in Kham, that is in Tibet, he was probably 17 or 18 years old. Of course, then he came to India. At that time, he had a terrible toothache. Tara appearing to him in a dream said, you have no particular devotion to me, nor do you do any, do my practice. However, I'll give you a mantra to recite 10,000 times and you will be healed. Kaluri Moche complied and the next day was completely relieved of his headache. So this is what Kaluri Moche is saying. Okay. He thought that Tara's intervention was because of a connection he had with her in a past life since he had not placed any importance on her until then. From that time onwards, he was much devoted to Tara. Okay. That is the Rimoche, Kalu Rimoche. He was a great Lama. Now coming to a very mundane topic, this is if you have been to Darjeeling, this is called the Amala. Amala in Tibetan means the mother. Okay. Recited the prayers to the data, uh, uh, deity and each year made a large donation to the monasteries, sponsoring recitation of 100,000 praises. She did not know the Dharma very well, but her faith in Tara was extraordinary. 
uh, I'll not go into the details, but uh, uh, she had the case, very long case, in the court. And the day she was to appear before the court, she she uh, uh, did the mantra or the praise of uh, Tara. And Tara appears to have almost told her, don't worry, everything is okay. So the amount which she was to get, which she expected, the court gave three times more than what was really expected. And uh, this is shared by the, I mean, what I'm saying is that uh, uh, this is even shared by her daughter who was in the Indian Foreign Service and who retired as the secretary. I think those who come from uh, Darjeeling, they would know her well. And if we have really heard the name of uh, Atisha Dipankar, I think all the people who really study uh, Buddhism, they are very familiar with this name called the Atisha Dipankar. Atisha was a very strong devotee of Tara. And when he was invited to Tibet at the age of 16, he was a great teacher in Nalanda. He is said to have consulted Tara, who talked to him, and he said that if you go to Tibet, it would be a great contribution to Dharma, but your life may get slightly shortened. So he decided to go to Tibet. So this is, I'm sharing some of these stories so that we get some inspiration. Yes, I think uh, if we have a Faith, it makes a difference, right? Uh, well, I think some people may really find that, uh, well, I think it looks like a story. But even if it's a story, just do with faith. As one of my teachers, Dr. Rimoja says, fake it to make it. Even our teacher, those who are doing a course in Tibet House, Geshe Dorje Damdul, he also says, just do it. Feel that. So with that perspective, just try to visualize Tara and we will... Uh, uh, so before we really do that, the Tara has 108 names. I really want to invoke all those names as if we are inviting her with 108 manifestations. Okay, this is in Sanskrit. It's uh, the 108 names of the Venerable Aryatara spoken by the illustrious Lord Avilokita. So this is Told by whom? Uh, Lord Ablukiteshwar. Right. So it says, Kalyani Mahateja Lokadhatri, Mahayasha Saraswati Vishalakshi, Pragya Shiri Buddhi Vivardhani, Dritida Pushtida Swaha, Onkara Kamrupani, Sarvasato Yukta, Sangramo Tarani Jaya, Pragya Parmita Devi. Aryatara Manorama Dundavi Shankani Purna Vidyaragi Priyambada Chandana Mahagori Ajita Pituvasisa Mahamaya Mahasheta Mahabala Parakrama Maharudri Mahachandi Dusta Satwani Shudani Prashanta Shanturupa Vijaya Jalan Prabha Vidyan Mari Dvaji Kangi Chaki Chapodhita Jambani Stambani Kali Kali Ratri Nishachari Rakshini Mohini Shanta Kantari Dravini Shuva Brahmani Vedamata Guya Guya Vasani Mangalya Shankari Somya Jati Veda Manojava Kapalini 
महावेगा संध्या सत्य प्रजिता सार्थव कृपा दृष्टि नष्ट मार्ग प्रदर्शनी वरदा शासनी शास्त्री स्वरूपा मृद विक्रमा शर्वरी योगिनी सिद्ध चंडाली अमृता ध्रुवा धन्य पुण्य महाभागा शुभागा प्रिया दर्शना कृतांत त्रासनी भीमा उग्र उग्र महातपा जगद्वीते सदो युक्ता शरण्या भक्त वसला वागेश्वरी शिवा सूक्ष्मा नित्य सर्व कमानुगा सर्वार्थ साधनी भद्र गोत्री धात्री धन प्रभा अव्या गोतमी शून्य श्री मल्लो केतेश्वर मजा just be there for 2 minutes very silently sitting if the body absolutely still just bring the mind here wherever you are seated and visualize above the crown of my head i visualize a lotus and a moon disk upon there is the great tragedy of compassion arya tara mother of all enlightened beings who is oneness with my kind root guru my guru is seated in the full lotus position within a transparent bubble of rainbow colored light is pink in complexion and wears golden robes and hat in his right hand is a vajra and the stem of the white lotus that bloom beside his right ear in his left hand is a bell and the stem of another white lotus that blooms beside his left ear at my guru's heart is aryatara in female aspect green in color and seated in the dancing posture within a rainbow bubble her left hand is bent up and her right leg is outstretched her left hand is at her heart in the mudra symbolizing the triple gem and holding the stem of a blue utpali flower her right hand extended over her right knee is in the mudra of granting sublime realization she is beautifully adorned with jeweled ornaments and scarves and at three places bears the sable om a pum just visualize this crown above the crown of your head just be in that position feel that experiencing is feeling put all your cre creative imagination there the tara the green tara the mother of the enlightened beings make a heartfelt prayer please remain above my head until i receive enlightenment very strong aspiration aspiration has a very strong power body still the mind with thara image aspiration it becomes true with thara above the head we are going to take the refuge now refuge and bodhicitta i go for refuge until i am enlightened to the buddha the dharma and the supreme assembly by my merit from giving and other perfections 
May I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings? Second time, if you want, you can join, repeat. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving in other perfections, May I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfection, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. Just feel that you are refused under the compassion of Tara. With that, we are, we are going to read the seven limb prayer. With my body, speech and mind, I devotedly prostrate. Just we have already visualized, now we are doing the prostration. This is all mental prostration. This is page six, if you want to... Yeah. Seven limb prayer. Mentally, we are going to prostrate. With my body, speech and mind, I devotedly prostrate. I offer all offerings, both real and imagined. Visualize that you are giving all the offerings, mentally, physically, whatever you can really think of. All sins and the offenses amass from beginningless time, I confess. Let us confess. Even if you don't remember, all the wrong things that you have done, Right from the beginning, today we are confessing to Mother Tara. We are confessing. Just imagine what we have really done in the past life. Maybe we burnt, we killed, we harassed the people, we looted, we cheated. Just visualize and confess the mind will become very light. Compassion. Confession. I rejoice in all virtuous actions of holy and ordinary beings. This is another beautiful way of really accumulating virtue. Yeah. The people who have been getting promotions, becoming wealthy, whatever you can visualize, think and rejoice in that instead of feeling jealousy. Rejoicing is antidote to jealousy. Just visualize the people moving in a beautiful car, traveling in the beautiful places, whatever you can really visualize. Oh, Gurus and Buddhas, please remain until samsara ends. This is again heartful prayer. We don't know how many lives we are going to continue in the samsara. So we are praying to the Gurus and the Buddhas to remain in this samsara till the end of the samsara. And turn the wheel of Dharma for sentient beings. And we are very lucky that the Dharma wheel is on and we are part of that. So rejoice in that. And my virtues and those of others, I dedicate to the great enlightenment. Now the mandala offerings, outer and inner. This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, four continents, the sun and the moon, I imagine this as a Buddha field and offer it. May all living beings enjoy this pure land. The objects of my attachments, aversions and ignorance, friends, enemies and the strangers, 
and my body, wealth, and enjoyment, without any sense of loss, I offer this collection. Please accept it with pleasure and bless me with freedom from the three poisons. Again, making a very strong request to Mother Tara to bless and make us free of all the three poisons, attachment, aversion, and ignorance. And then if you have done the mudra, you could say, we can say, idam guru ratna mandalaya kam niryatayami. Just feel Tara's blessing. and taking away all the three poisons. Now the purification. Just remain very solidly, but very comfortably on your position, the mind here. And now we are going to do the purification. A lot of mental visualization. It's just the mind which is working now for the purification of the mind itself. Please bless me to purify all obscurations of my body so that it will become one in a sense with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. Wild light emanates from the Om at Arya Tara's bro and curves in an arc to enter my bro. Just visualize that. My body is purified completely of all obscurations and becomes one in a sense with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. Please bless me to purify all obscurations of my speech so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech. Now from the body, we are coming to the speech. Here, the red light. The body earlier was the white light. Now it's the red light at the throat. Red light emanates from the ah at the Arya Tara's throat and curves in an arc to enter my throat. My speech is purified completely of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech. Throat from where we... Throat which is the center of the speech, it's getting purified. White light emanating, getting arc in the body and the speech getting Purified. Now, please bless me to purify all obscurations of my mind so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind. Blue light. Blue light emanates from the womb at Arya Tara's heart and curves in an arc to enter my heart. My mind is purified of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind. Just visualize. Blue light emanating from the heart of Tara and entering in your heart and the mind getting purified. Now the three colored beams emanate simultaneously from the Om Ah Hum syllables, completely purifying all delusions and subtle obscurations to omniscience. My body, speech, and mind become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy body, holy speech, and holy mind. My root guru dissolves into Arya Tara who melts into green light, which flows into me. 
just visualize that from the top of your head the blue light going down inside Now the three colored beams emanate simultaneously from the Om, A ah, and Hum syllables, completely purifying all my delusions and subtle obscuration to omniscience. My body, speech and mind become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy body, holy speech and holy mind. My root guru dissolves into Arya Tara who melts into the green light which flows into me instantly my wrong conception that I and other phenomena are self-existent together with my dualistic mind and its views disappear, becoming completely empty, not even a trace of them remains. I concentrate one pointedly in this empty space with the wisdom that is indistinguishably one with Guru Tara's blissful omniscient mind. At this stage, there's no difference between our mind and Arya Tara's mind. Then out of the emptiness, my wisdom manifests instantly as Arya Tara's holy body seated upon a lotus in the moon cushion. Again, you are, you, are, you are visualizing that. At my heart is another lotus and moon, upon which is the center stands the syllable tam, surrounded in a clockwise direction by the syllable of mantra, Om Tare Tutare Ture So Ha. The tam and the mantra are manifestation of Guru Tara's holy mind, with which my mind is totally united. Green light radiates from all the letters. Just visualize. From the letter Om Tare Tutare Ture Swaha, what is radiating? Only the green light. Spreading in all directions, it purifies the negative karmas, gross delusions and subtle obscuration to omniscience of all the sentient beings who become Tara. Just visualize that. As I recite this mantra, I absorb and I'm blessed by the rain, by this rain. So for 21 times, we are going to Repeat, we are going to chant Om Tare Tutare Ture Soha 21 times. And while doing this, you just feel as if the whole space is filled up with Tara and all the beings, all the living beings of this universe, they are all there surrounding you and listening this prayer. Okay, the twenty one times Om Tare to Tare to Reso Om Tare to Tare to Reso Om Tare to Tare to Reso Om Dare to Dare 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 to Reso Om Dare to Tare 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 to Reso 
ओम दारे तू तारे तुरे सो 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 जस्ट फील एज इफ देर वॉज अ रेन ऑफ दिस प्रेयर एंड ऑल द रिलीजन्स getting washed away the mind getting totally purified just feel that now we are going to do 21 praise praises of thara this is it page 14 first we will do in uh uh tibetan okay so those uh of you who really want to join i think i'll do very slowly i think it be really very good to do that okay i think first uh, <clears throat> i'll do potalai na jogna dami janju dane opagini ge dusum jange dane लगंग लामिन जो बंगी जकी मोमन दे बोंग बगुन ला डोलमा डोलमा युमला चक्से लो दिस इज पेज 14 सो so, uh, ओम जसन मा फगमा डोलमा ला चक्से लो सो यू कैन जॉइन छक्सल डो मो चेनी गजे लोदन राम जिगदेन जुम गुन जुगे जल गे ये सर जे वाले जुम मक्सल दन गए दवा गुंदो गंगा ज्ञानी जे खेल मर्म दन राम गे रब दू चुवाम चल जंगो जुने के गी पेमे जंगनी नंबर गेन मिन बाजन जो गाद्यो जीवा जो बाजन दिन जो मा चल दे जिन जग मई दो दो दाए नंबर गल बर जो मा मल बड़ो जिन बात पे गल वे जगी सिंधु दिन मा चंगल तो तारा गे दो जो नम गंग एक दिन दुन बो जब की नींद लुबा में पग पुम चंगल जो जिन मेला जंग लुंगला न जो वन जय जय मू मोरो लंग नाम नो जिन जो की दुन दंगल दे जे जदंग फरोल दुल रफ्यु जो मां जब की नींद मे बुक बाशिन जो बर मांगल दुरे जिग बाशिन मो दुखी पबो नंबर जो मां 
Chakal jalni do ne den je trabo dam je malvi zoima. Chakal vanjo sunjon jange zor mai do ka number gen ma. E jange gor lo gen be rangi yogi dong na rung ma. Chakal rabju ka vaji be uge no ge dengwa bel ma. Je bor abje tu tarai do dong jing den wang du zoi ma. Chakal jaji gyong vai zong na dam je gyo va nyo ma ni ma. Chone yo vai hige hong ge bong ba dam je nam par dol ma. Chakal da vai dum buru ge gen ba dam je shin ju bar ma. Ralvai du na bhag me le dhag bar shin ju rab ze ma. Chakal gal vai tha me me ta. Barbaya cheng bai una ni ma. Ye gya yan gyum gu ne go ge drai pung ni na bar jom ma. Chakal da ji ngo la ja ghi dil ghi dun jing jab ghi dun ma. Chone chan se hi ge hong ge rin ba dun po na mi ge ma. Chakal de ma ge ma ji ma ne ge de ji cha yul ni ma. Suha om da yang da den be dik ba jen po jom ba ni ma. Chakal ko na go rab ga yi jai lo ni na par gen ma. Yi ge ju vay nga ki go be rik pa hum yi sa mo ni ma. Chakal do re ja ki de be hum ki na go sa pa ni ma. Ri ra man da ra dang bhi ge jik den som nam yo va ni ma. Chakal la yi do yi na be ri da da chen cha na na pa. Tara ni jo fit ki hi ge dung nam ma lu yi va du sel ma. Chakal la chakal la yi do yi ge la dang bhi ji ten ma. Kune go cha ga va ji ge. So dang mi lang yin ba sel ma. Chakal ni ma da va ge be che ni po la o rab sel ma. Hara ni jo tu ta ra yi shen ju ra po e rim ne sel ma. Chakal je ni zum nam go be ji va e zung na ni ni den ma. Dang dang ro lang no jin so na jom ba tu re jo na ni ma. Savai nga ghi toi pa di da Chak sal va nu ni shu cha che If we go back to page prayer again I think Yeah, this time we will do in English Please join And just feel that all the beings of the universe, they are all there and they are all listening to you and they are getting the benefit of this. Okay? Yeah. From your sublime abode at the Potala, O Tara, born from the green letter Tam, your crown adorned with Amitabha, action mother of the Buddhas of three times, Tara, please come with your attendants. Lama Zopari Mache always advised we should say this prayer as loudly as possible so that others can also listen to that. Okay? Yeah. Prostration, the gods and the demigods bow to your lotus feet, O Tara. You who rescue to you, Mother Tara, I pay homage. Yeah. Now the praises. Om homages to the venerable Arya Tara. Homage to you, Tara, the swift heroine, whose eyes are like an instant flash of lightning, whose water-born face arises from the blooming lotus, O Avlokiteshwara, protector of the three worlds. Homage to you, Tara, whose face is like 100 full autumn moons gathered together, blazing with the expanding light of a thousand moons assembled. Homage to you, Tara, born from the golden light, blue lotus, whose hands are beautifully adorned with lotus flowers. You who are the embodiment of giving, joyous effort, asceticism, 
pacification, patience, concentration, and all objects of patience. Homage to you, Tara, the crown pinnacle of those, those whose deeds overcome infinite evils, who have attained transcendent perfections without exception, and upon whom the sons of the victorious ones rely. Homage to you, Tara, who with the letters to Tara and whom fill the realms of desire, direction, and space whose feet tremble on the and who are able to draw all beings to you. Homage to you, Tara, venerated by Indra, Agni, Brahma, Ishwara, and praised by the assembly of spirits, race, corpus, Gandharvas, and all Yaksha. Homage to you, Tara, whose threat and path destroy entirely the magical wheels of others. With your right leg bent and the left outstretched and pressing, you burn intensely within a world of fire. Homage to you, Tara, the great fearless one. To destroy the mighty demons completely, who with a wrathful expression on your waterborne face, slay all enemies without an exception. Slay all enemies without an exception. Homage to you, Tara, whose fingers adorn your heart. With the gesture of the sublime precious Adorned with the wheel striking all directions without exception, with the totality of your homage to you, Tara, whose radiant crown ornament, joyful and magnificent, extends a garland of life, and who by your laughter of Tutara conquered the demons and all of the worlds. Homage to you, Tara, you are the entire assembly of local protectors, whose wrathful expression fiercely shakes. Rescuing the implants. Homage to you, Tara, whose crown is adorned with a crescent moon wearing ornaments exceedingly bright. From your hair, nor the Amit radiates eternally with. Homage to you, Tara, who dwell within a blazing garland that assembles the fire at the end of the world ray. Surrounded by joy, you sit with your right leg. And left withdrawn, completely destroying all the masses of homage to you, Tara, with hand on the adorn by your pressing your heel and stamping with your feet on the earth, with a wrathful glance with and all seven levels through this. Uh, to Tara, O oh happy, virtuous, and the peaceful one, the very of your passion passed beyond sorrow. You are perfectly an out Viswa and Om, overcoming completely all the great evils. Homage to you, Tara. You completely subdue the bodies of all enemies. Your speech is adorned with the and you rescue all through the knowledge let of whom. Homage to you, Tara, stamping your feet and your seeds level itself with the aspect of whom. Causes Meru, Mandara, and the Vindhya mountains. <laughs> Homage to you, Tara. You hold in your hand the three haired moon like Saraswati. By uttering Tara twice in the letter of faith, you dispel all poisons without an exception. Homage to you, Tara, upon whom the kings of the assembled gods, the gods assembled of Kinras. You who dispel all disputes and bad dreams, homage to you, Tara. <laughs> Radiate the excellent illuminating light. <laughs> you dispel all violent epidemic disease, homage to you, Tara, adorned by the three steps, perfectly endowed with the power of serenity. You who destroy the host of evil spirits, raise corpses and yakshas, O Ture, is sublime. This concludes the praise of the root mantra and the offering of the 21 homages. Now, this prayer was originally written in Sanskrit, and then it has been translated into Tibetan and from there off with English. As a kind of the offering, uh, I'm going to chant this mantra in Sanskrit. Okay? I think all of you can just sit and just feel the mantra's radiations coming to you. And 
you feel blessed with that. Okay? Bhagwati <clears throat> Bhagwati Aryatara Devya Namaskari Gvishanti Strotam Gunahit Sahaitam Om Namo Bhagwatya Arya Shri Gvishanti Tarai Namastare Ture Vire Shanidviti Nive Trello Tara Sahasthvinikara Prasad Kirino Jale Namo Kanakanila Pani Padma Vibhu Dāne viryata pošānti Titikṣa dhyāne gochari Namastata gato shini Vijayanant charini Ashe se parmita prati jin putra nishayate namastutar hunkar purit asha digantare Saptilo krama krant nishe se akarshana shame namo shakra anal brahma maru chite Bhuti Veta Ligandarva Gani Yaksha Purushkriti Namastra Diti Fatka Paryantar Pramadini Pratyali Nipadniyase Shikhi Jala Kullu Jali Namasture Mahagore Marvir Vinashini Brikuti Kridvaktra Sarva Shatru Nishudini Namastri Ratna Murda Irde Angali Bibu Shite Bhushita Sheshidik Chakra Nikara Sakara Kule Namo Pramodita Deep Mukta Shipta Malini Asat Prastuta Marlo Kvashankari 
नमो समस्त भूपालकर्षण में चलद ब्रकुटि हुंका सर्वाप विमोचनी नमो शिखंड खंडेन्दु मुकुट बरन गले अमिताभ जटा भाव बासुवर किरण ध्रुव नमो कल्पांत हुतुब ज्वालामलास्थिते आलिद मुदित बद्ध ऋफुचक्र विनाशिनी नमो करतला चरण आह भूतले ब्रिकुटीकृधों का सप्त पाताल बेदनी नमो शिवे शिवे शांते शांत निर्वाण चरे स्वाहा प्रणब संयुक्ते महापात नमो प्रमोदित बद्ध ऋफुचक्र विनाशिनी दक्षक्षाक्षरपद न्यासे विद्यहंकार दीपिते नमस्तुरे पाद घंकार आकार बीजते मेरु मंदर विद्या भुवन त्रे चाली नमो सुरेश आका हरिना डंक कर स्थित तारा दिरुक्त फटका अशेष विष्णि नमो सुरगन दक्ष सुरकिन्नर से विते आव मुदिता भोग करी दुई सपनो नी नमस्ते चंद्रार्ग संपूर्ण नयन दीति बासवरे हर दुरुक्तार भीषम जरनाशिनी नमस्त्री तत्व विन्यासे शिव शक्ति समन्वित गए बेताल यक्षगण नाशिनी प्रवरे तूरे फल श्रुति मंत्र मूलम इदम स्रोतम नमस्कार विशंखम या पठे प्रसन्न धीमनम दिव्यम शक्ति समन्वित साय या प्राता रुथाए समेत सर्वभ्यप्रदम 
सर्वपाप्रश्मनं सर्वदुर्गति नाशिनम अभिषिक्त भवे तूर्णम सप्तविंग जिन कोटिविंग आस्मिन महतो अपादे सौंतते बोध परम प्रजेता भीषम तस्य महागौरम स्थावरम वात जंगमम समृद्ध प्रलय याति खादित पीतम एवुमा गृह ज्वर विषाथिन परमाथी विनाशन अन्य सात्वनम दृती सप्त विवर्ति पुत्र कामो लवेद पुत्र धन कामो लवेदनम सर्व कामती न विघ्ने प्रतिहयते श्री सम्यक सम्यक बुधा विरोचना भाषि भगवती आर्यतारा दिव्य नमस्कार विशाति स्त्रोत गुणहित सहित now we will do the dedication page 8 of the booklet you get dedication may i we can all read together may i quickly become guru arya tara bhagwan dolma and lead each and every sentient being into her enlightened state because of these merits may i receive the bodhicitta that has not been received and may the bodhicitta that has been received be increased just feel that and now we all have this this is the prayer to the lord maitreya who is going to be the next buddha okay we are all requesting him this is the prayer we will do it uh, uh the first one once and uh, the uh low to one seven times sorry the first uh, one we will do is three times okay yeah maitreya buddha we can in fact visualize that he, as if he is there because there's a tradition that before the buddhas descend on this earthly planet they're all in tushita heaven okay so lord maitreya is also in the tushita heaven so we are all now requesting him to descend on this earthly planet this is here like we had the buddha shakamuni's prayer so similarly this is the prayer of the lord maitreya priya buddha mantra of maitreya buddha's <clears throat> promise नमो रत्नत्रयाय नमो भगवते सम्यक शक्य मुनिये तथागताया अर्हते सम्यक संबुदाय अत ओम अजिते अजिते अप्रजिते अजितंचाय हरा हरा मात्रिय अवलोकिते करा करा महासमाया सिद्धि बराबर महाबोधि मंड बीज सम्र सम्र कम समाया बोधि बोधि महाबोधि सो नमो रत्नत्रयाय नमो भगवते शक्य मुनिये तथागताय अर्हते सम्यक संबुदाय 
ओम अजिते अजिते अप्रजिते अजिंचय हर हर मैत्रे अवलोकते कर कर महासम सिद्धि बर बर महाबोधि मंड बीज सम्र सम्र समय बोधि बोधि महाबोधि सो नमो रत्न नमो भगवते शक्य मुनि तथागत अरहते सम्यक संबुदया दया दा ओम अजिते अजिते अप्रजित अजिंचय हर हर मैत्रे अवलोकते कर कर महासमय सिद्धि बर बर महाबोधि मंड बीज सम्र सम्र कम समय बोधि बोधि महाबोधि सो जस्ट फील एज इफ वी हैव रिक्वेस्टेड Lord Maitreya, okay, now we will do this prayer seven times. Om Mohi Mohi Maha Mohi Soha, Om Muni Muni Samra Soha, Om Mohi Mohi Maha Mohi Soha, Om Muni Muni Samra Soha, Om Mohi Mohi Maha Samra Soha. ओ मुनि मुनि समर स्वाहा ओ मोहि मोहि महा मोहि स्वाहा ओ मुनि मुनि समर स्वाहा ओ मोहि मोहि महा मोहि स्वाहा ओ मुनि मुनि समर स्वाहा ओ मोहि मोहि महा मोहि स्वाहा ओ मुनि मुनि महा स्वाहा ओ मोहि मोहि महा मोहि स्वाहा ओ मुनि मुनि समर स्वाहा ओ मोहि मोहि महा मोहि स्वाहा ओ मुनि मुनि समर स्वाहा Now we will do this prayer. Uh, this is the prayer for His Holiness Dalai Lama. You you don't have. Just one fish. One centibitan. Jigden gham de ven de malui be gham la jing be ven de li zin do kadin jung be den zin gya do jo guje den zin guje lung jo jo. In incomparable kind of supreme den zin gya to the wish fulfilling source of benefit and happiness in this world. May you have a long life and all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Now the prayer for Lama Zuparimache, who has set up the uh, uh, foundation, and uh, this prayer was composed by His Holiness when. Zopari Moche left this world. Okay. So we can do this in uh, 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 English. Peerless teacher and assembly of the children of the victorious ones, Sravakas and Pratyapuddha, victorious Loza, father and sons, along with all the objects, the refuge of infinite lands. Please bestow the virtue and the goodness of accomplishing this prayer here and now. Holding the spreading of the money is precious in the complete teaching. Through explanation, the practice, you wrote the armor of the patience that is never discouraged. Incomparable, venerable Guru, to you I make request. 
while striving single pointedly for the sake of the victorious one seeking the sole gateway through which all benefit and happiness emerge and for all mother living being you suddenly departed to peace what a grace loss nevertheless through the undeceiving truth not the blessings of the oceans of the three jewels and the great waves of the bodhicitta of the of the victorious ones may the smile of the reincarnation swiftly beam in glory for fortunate disciple so this is the request to zoparimache to reincarnate So now we do the food offering. We can wait till Yash can give us. How was that for you? It's a bit boring. Normally, the people don't feel very. <laughs> well. We have. Uh... 13 people online also. Oh. Thanks, thanks for joining from so far off, Nikki Ji. Thank you. Thank you.